Next stop, the iconic Pig and Whistle Hotel located just down the road in Trentham East. Lyndall, Brian and I were rolling down the road when something caught our eye and it is lunchtime, so we thought, let's pull up and have an explore in there. Come on. One of the things I love about road tripping in Australia is the little gems you find along the way. And I reckon we might have just discovered one right here at the Pig and Whistle. Eamon, what's the history of this place? Well, this iconic pub's nestled on a quiet corner in Trentham East since 1887. And it really is a reminder to the town's early history and its Irish settlers. So 18, what was it, 1887? Yeah, 87. That's a long time ago. What did life look like in Trentham in 1887? Well, a lot, lot of potato farmers. Uh, they found the, the climate similar to what they had in Ireland and during the, the potato famine in, in the 1800s is the reason they all immigrated out to Australia. Ada, what about in the dining room? What are, what's your signature dishes? What are uh, people going for? The, well, well, palm is still the number one, the number one dish, so obviously we put a lot of energy into a, a, a fresh chicken breast pumped in house, um, chef's secret uh, uh, Napoli sauce mix and, and a good cheese mix. Yeah, right, eh? Hey, question on the palmer. Is it a palmer or is it a palmy? It's a palmer. It's a palmer. It's a palmer. Right, eh? For all you Queenslanders and New South Welshmen out there, have a discussion in your landry. <laughs> Mate, if someone's a bit more adventurous and they're going to step past the palmer for their option, what do you got? Yeah, we'll have a, a wide range of weekly specials. Um, but we also have a, a, a good mix of modern Australian dishes that sort of break it up from those traditional pub favourites. Mate, cracking job you've done here. You only opened not long ago, and I think what's remarkable, and I'm a bit of a connoisseur of a good country pub, I've been through a few in me day, um, you've managed to maintain that only about an hour out of Melbourne, so you've got access to a massive population base who can come out here and experience what a good old pub used to be. Have you got a website if anyone wants to have a look and see what you do? Yeah, pigandwhistlehotel.com.au. How'd you come up with that domain name? <laughs> <laughs>